Really quickly though, uh, Wegov. Wegov is a FDA approved drug. It's actually a uh, it's actually a uh, higher dose of a drug known as smeglitude. Um, and if I take you to the Wegov site, give me one second here. We're gonna put this up. Share screen. Chrome window. Boom. Okay, so here we are. This is from, as you can see, the Wego V site. Now, Wego V is uh, basically semalagatude. It is a weight loss drug. Semalagatude is smeglitude. Semalagatude. Semal I can never. I can never say it right. But it's a two point four milli uh, milligram injection once a week, and it's meant for adults. If you can take a look over here by my by where my cursor is at, for BMI of thirty and or people that are overweight. Now, this did show to have, hang on a second, I got, I want to put myself over there. Boom, boom, there we go. This did show to have a loss of about 15% uh, for over a course of like 63 weeks. Now, there's several things about this that bothered me that a lot of people did not point out when they were doing their uh, their synopsis of it. And I'm not knocking anybody that did a synopsis of it. I actually saw a very, very, very well done scientific one done by uh, More Place for More Dates. I think Derek does an amazing job. And I thought he did an amazing job with this. I just think I have a different perspective of this. Uh, people look at actually just the action of a drug. And it, will it work? Will it won't work? Blah, blah, blah. Now, will this work? It does show to work. I don't think it works all that well. 10 to 15% of weight loss over the course of over a year is not that fucking good. I, I, I would be disappointed in myself as a coach if through just means of nutritional change and exercise, I was not able to get a morbidly obese client or an obese client to lose 10% to 15% of their body mass in the course of a fucking year. I would consider that uh, kind of a failure unless there was other aspects of their life, like unless we spent the most majority part of the year just working on their healthy habits and then they just started losing weight in a gradual progression. But if you're looking at a 300 pound person and they've only lost 35 to 45 pounds in the course of a fucking year uh, after a year's worth of coaching um, with you know nutritional intervention and exercise intervention, I would consider you quite the fucking failure. Like if they, if they were all in and it was not a matter of they had any sort of food addiction and they had, had no need for counseling, which I don't know a 300 pound person that doesn't need counseling, which is another thing that smeglitude and Wegovy does not actually uh, address. Uh, I would consider that kind of a fucking failure. I'm just going to be honest. So uh, the problem, another big problem with it is if you take a look, I'm going to pop the screen back out just so people can see. And I'm going to increase the size of the screen too. So if we take a look, do not use Wegovy if you or any of your family has ever had thyroid cancer. And the reason for this is that there is a black box warning on uh semaglutide, semaglutide, I finally said it right, semaglutide, uh, there's a black box, box warning for it possibly causing uh, cancer, thyroid cancer, and thyroid tumors. Uh, now, this was only done in rodents, uh, so I don't understand why we did not take the data from humans. However, um, it does mean it should not be taken over a long period of time. Before taking away, talk to your healthcare provider if you have any medical conditions. If you have, a, have or had problems with, pancre uh, with your pancreas or kidneys, if you have type 2 diabetes or a history of diabetic retinopathy, and this is really a drug that's meant for diabetics, so I don't know why it's contra, uh, but if you have had depression, suicidal thoughts, or mental health issues. Now, I'm going to talk about this just really fucking quickly because I think this is pretty important. Name me a 300-pound obese person that does not have some sort of fucking depression. Name, name me a morbidly obese person that has not you know, gone through some sort of bout of depression or faces chronic depression. I would argue that there's not fucking any. Uh, and that's the problem. I really think that this drug is very contra to the people that would actually be helped by using it. And by helped, I mean barely fucking helped. Uh, so those of you that, I mean, and again, this is not a knock on anybody that's ever done a review on Wegovy, uh, because the action of the actual pharmaceutical does what it says to do. It, 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 is, uh, uh, it is an inhibitor. And it does do its fucking job. The problem is it does not address any food issues, any uh, issues like that. And also it can cause, and again, we will go to this really fucking quickly, pump it back up. 
And if I go to here, excuse me, big swear of coffee. Um, so now, if you are pregnant or began a, began a, be, be plan on becoming pregnant, you should maybe go off of it two months before you become pregnant. I think that would be the same for most pharmaceuticals. And if you're breastfeeding, you shouldn't be on it. That's understandable. Now, what are the possible side effects? Inflammation to your pancreas or pancreatitis. So stop using Wegovy if you uh, call your health provider if you're noticing severe pain in your abdominal area. So pancreatitis, gallbladder problems, increased risk of low blood sugar, hypoglycemia in patients with type 2 diabetes, especially those who are taking medicines for type 2 diabetes, such as insulin. Uh, so just be very, very careful with that. Kidney problems, serious allergic reaction, and that's just about the same with anything that's a, uh, that's a, uh, uh, kind of a catch-all for all of them. And now the biggest one I want to point out is um, depression or suicidal thoughts. So if it starts causing you to have depression or suicidal thoughts, I, I'm having a hard time believing you will fucking uh, recover well from this. Now, the bigger issue that I'm finding is Wegovy, Semaglutide, Semaglutide, 2.4 mil injections, prescribed medicine for adult use only. It should be used... I, and again, it should be used with a reduced calorie meal plan and increased physical activity. So diet and fucking exercise still. So it's, it's not like it's some sort of magic drug. These people still need to somehow or another fucking make sure that they're watching what they eat and exercising, which is the problem for these people is how they became morbidly obese to fucking begin with. So it's basically a drug that gives you 15% weight loss in 63 weeks that you still have to fucking diet and exercise on. And that's good. You should diet and exercise. You should watch your nutrition to the point where it's, you're eating a healthy, you know, healthy nutrition. You should stay away from processed, uh, processed foods. They're highly inflammatory. And inflammation is a fucking killer. And also you should definitely fucking make sure that you are getting some physical activity in because it's good for your heart health. However, I don't know people that are going to re re rely on this just to uh, – Florida's looking a lot better as far as COVID is concerned. Florida was looking great the, the entire time for, for, for the, for the, uh, for the uh, Mexican beer flu. Anyway, but, um, but I don't know anybody, and I mean anybody, that does not need to watch their nutrition and exercise. So now we have people going on this – uh, prescription medication that has many side effects that oftentimes I believe that most people that are going to get prescribed this, it is contra because you again, find me a 300 pound person that is willing to go on a pharmaceutical medication for weight loss that does not have some sort of depression. Please find one for me. I have yet to fucking meet one. I have yet to meet one. I absolutely, I don't, I, I've never met one. I've coached thousands of people. Uh, I, I've coached many, 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 many morbidly obese people. I have yet to meet any that don't have some sort of depression. That's why you hear me say all the time, get some fucking counseling. Um, I've, I've said it all the fucking time. Now, this is a problem. Again, like all of this, all of this in here, this is all a problem. And again, should be used with reduced calorie meal plan. Uh, it should not be used with other uh, other things that contain this, the another GL, uh, GLP-1 uh, receptor agonist. And it shouldn't be used long term. So uh, it, it should not be used long term. So at the end of the 63 week study, by the way, at the end of the 63 week study, it was like their weight goes down, their weight goes down, their weight goes down, it kind of tapered off. And in week 60, 61 and 62 and 63, right when the study cut off, because you shouldn't use this medication for a long time, they started to show regain. So we don't know what's going to happen to these people after they go off the medication. Are they going to bounce back completely, which is my actual guess. I would love to see. Uh, some data on this, but we shall, you know, that's, that's yet to be determined. However, another huge portion of this is that while this is not yet covered by Medicare or Medicaid or in most insurance companies, that's the thing. It's not covered by that most of the time. And it's not covered by any of that. They are trying to get it covered most of the time. However, when stuff like this gets covered by Medicare, Medicaid and or insurance companies, it raises everybody's insurance rates. We do have 50 to you know, approximately 50 to 80% of the population, if you count in the great fattening of 2020 and 2021, we have about 50 to 80% of the population that could possibly use this type of pharmaceutical. And here's the fucking costs. So can everybody see this? No? How about this? 
That's the fucking monthly cost. Monthly. You need to be on this for like the 15% weight loss is shown after, uh, what is it? It's at, shown after something like 60 weeks or something like that. Fucking $1,300 a month. $1,300 a month. It works out to something like $600 a fucking pound of, of weight loss for, on the average. That is fucking insanity. While still having, by the way, while still having to watch your nutrition and exercise. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy talk. I, that's, that's crazy, crazy talk. Uh, it's fucking $1,300 a month to lose what would be the equivalent of probably two pounds a month. The fuck? I mean, like, that's insanity. It really is. While, again, watching what you eat and exercising, that's fucking insanity. Uh, they, really, they, they, this just goes to show that they think you're fucking stupid. And if you buy into this, you are fucking stupid. I understand that, uh, and again, this is not knocking anybody that made in any way in any way made a video about this because if you look at the study and what it does it does what it is professed to do it absolutely does for the time in the time frame that they state it is an igl uh, it is an, a good inhibitor it really it works okay i'm not saying that this does not work it works very fucking slowly very fucking slowly and I, I do hope that it reduces the amount of hunger that the person feels and that sort of thing and anything and i'm mean anything that can help Anybody that is uh, uh, anything, anything that helps out, you know, the state we're in, because the state of morbid obesity in America is killing the fucking nation. It's actually, it's absolutely killing the fucking country. Period. But thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars a fucking month for, for very min, for what I would what I would call weak, weak, weak results, while still dieting and exercising. It's a fucking travesty. That is a, that is a fucking travesty. So I'm sorry if this in, in any way, uh, and I mean in any fucking way, offends anybody that made a video about this or if it offends any of the fans of other people that made videos about this. I just think I have a different perspective based off of the fact that this is actually what I fucking do for a living. This is insanity. The, 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 that, that, that is not, the, the, the results are subpar at best. At fucking best. They're subpar at best. And for the price, that's fucking laughable. That, I mean, that's fucking laughable. And if it would get covered by insurance and or Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid, it would raise the cost of everybody's insurance because then they would just, and this is how the, how the fucking pharmaceutical industry works, they would just start prescribing this like fucking crazy. Like, I mean, like they would prescribe it to fucking everybody. Because if you have a $50, $50 copay on something per month that costs $1,300, that is going to be insane. They might get a group deal for it and get might cost the actual company, you know, the insurance company $1,000 or whatever, but everybody's insurance rates are going to fucking skyrocket from this just because people can't be self-accountable and watch what they eat. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in using things to help. I, I, I take, I take uh, 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 compounds that help literally eliminate my physical hunger also. I, that's To me, that's the key to avoid my binge eating. But what the fuck? Uh, I mean, I just don't under fucking stand how people can possibly think that this is in any way good for fucking society when this it, it is it is literally almost a pyramid scheme to get fucking money to go up to pharmaceutical companies for something that has a black box label for lower doses for th for thyroid tumors. It is shown that you still need to diet and exercise on is six hundred dollars, roughly a fucking pound of weight loss, six hundred fucking dollars, and can only be used in a short term thing. Can't be used for the rest of your life. What happens afterwards when they fucking regain no goddamn weight? It's fucking a travesty. So, I just wanted to go over that uh, as much as possible because I think it's fucking ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to stop sharing that screen. We're going to go to some of the questions.